everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little bit different i mean it's going to be the same but it got a little twist to it um i am in the process of i'm starting to clean the house i already started with my room but it dawned on me that i wanted to give you guys some basically neglected home tips or neglected cleaning tips just some stuff that sometimes we may have forgotten to clean and it just dawned on me because we just recently had our um, house inspection and there was certain things that I was like dang I should have did that dang I should have did this should have cleaned that so I'm going to be going around cleaning my house it's really not that bad it's kind of more of like a like a reset not really a deep clean but I'm going to be resetting the house and as I'm going through I'm going to start pointing out or I'm going to point out um a couple of areas that you may be forgetting to clean some of it is a safety hazard some of it is just aesthetic some of it is like sanitizing so like i said it's gonna be a different spin on that um, i'm gonna start upstairs then we're gonna work our way downstairs because i feel like that's where most of the tips are i hope you enjoy this video and maybe i jogged your memory of some things that maybe you have forgotten to clean if at any point during the video something comes to mind please leave it in the comments for for me and others just in case we're forgetting to clean something as well but let's go ahead and get started <laughs> We all know about this, okay? We all know that this needs to be cleaned. I do it after each use because it's just a lot, always a lot of lip. So we know about that, right? But do you know that it don't really, well, it could just be mine, don't really catch it all. Like, look, look down in here. Can you see? There's still a lip in there. It doesn't catch it all. So at this point, you should take your vacuum with the small attachment and get it if you don't have like the tools. Um, they do have some brushes that can go down there and like collect it. But honestly, you can just take your vacuum. You don't have to buy nothing special for it, but take your vacuum um, to prevent like a fire hazard. Since we are in here wiping stuff down, the next step, or uh, the next tip is to make sure that you are disinfecting and cleaning all of your knobs. Um, so handles for dressers um, often get overlooked. Doors to closets often get um, overlooked. And I think the most common ones are the um, the handles to like the outside door to the room doors and stuff like that. But remember to get all knobs and all handles. And um, I think this is not a common one. In my household, it is a common one because my kids have chores where they have to take a wipe, um, a Clorox wipe, 
and part of their chores is to wipe down all the doorknobs and all the light switches so the next one is the light switches uh, i feel like a lot i don't see a lot of people doing it but think of how many people go in and out of a room and touch the light switches so not only that lamp dials or however you turn on your lamp make sure you are wiping those down as well because they get just as much traction as doorknobs and light switches downstairs i feel like it's a very common one but sometimes it does get overlooked is make sure you are testing and changing out the batteries in your smoke detector or your carbon monoxide detector or whatever you have make sure you are testing it regularly and making sure the batteries are straight uh, i know if there is a running joke that said that almost every household had that little beep sound that just means that you need to change the batteries but you still need to test them even if the batteries are good you need to test them they have a tester um up there i can't really get up there but we had all of ours tested and replaced before the inspection and you would not believe how many were actually in need of batteries um so definitely check out all of your smoke detectors
right, so the next tip would be to clean your dishwasher. Okay, so when he was checking this, he asked us, like, how often do we clean it? Because it really wasn't a lot of buildup. Because he was checking, like, down, down, up in there. Now, like I said, some of this stuff is going to be common knowledge, but sometimes it's not. You should, well, what we do is maybe every two weeks, sometimes just once a month. But I think I should start doing it once a week on my deep cleaning days because we use this thing every single day, sometimes twice a day. So depending on how often you use your dishwasher depends on how often you should be cleaning it. So I'm going to aim for... Um, once a week but our dishwasher this one we have a sanitize sanitizer um option maybe if i light it up you can see it so we have a sanitized option to where it will well technically sanitize the dishes but sanitize the grates and stuff that's in there as well but if you do not have this option all you have to do is take um a bowl and fill it with um some vinegar they also have options to where you can buy um, dishwasher cleaner, but if you don't want to spend the money on that, vinegar does wonders. And then just put it on um, the hot cycle and the longest cycle, empty, of course, minus the bowl of vinegar. And um, it'll do just good with, just fine with cleaning your dishwasher. Also remember to um, pull this out and clean it if you have gunk up in there. But as you can see, like ours look okay for now. <laughs> see it again in a week and it'll look different because that is a filter. So make sure you're cleaning that as well. Especially if you have hard water, the hard water would get up on that. And then not to mention the problems that the the mat um, collects. I don't know how, y'all don't ask me, I don't know. But definitely don't neglect this because this will start to rush rust and you just don't want to mess up 
your stuff. So go ahead. I'm gonna um, wash this down really quick and then dry it just to prevent the the rush. Why well, keep saying rushing? The rusting. The time that I take when my head hurts, you're the sunshine of my life. I just wanna see how beautiful you are. You know that I see. are forgetting about or at least I am forgetting about is the under the microwave vents you are supposed to take these out <laughs> and clean them look how grimy this is you're supposed to take these out they just slide right on out and and these can be soaked and I'll show you the end result of how it's supposed to look Sleeping, but that just uh reminded me of the next tip okay i did not know about this i don't know if y'all knew about this maybe i'm just a little bit late maybe i'm a little bit slow on how things work but did you know that there's a dust trap what's it called dust trap filter or dust track tra hold on okay it's called a dust filter that's under everybody's fridge now, I'm not going to um, try to clean it because the man already did it for me when we was doing the inspection and he showed me, figure out how to do it, figure out how to clean. It was so much, I have never, we've been here for going on five years and this came with the house. So ain't no telling if anybody ever did it. It was so jam packed with stuff. F figure out how to clean it. That is... Your refrigerator would thank you and your freezer would thank you so yeah figure out how to clean the that that filter because wow okay so my next tip for y'all is you're not cleaning and i'm not speaking to everybody some of us including myself you're not cleaning and descaling your coffee machines 
look at the amount of grime that is in here hope um can you see it or no i don't know if you if it's coming up but it's definitely grimy okay so these pieces you can actually take off and actually wash it's getting everywhere let me show you the tray I know y'all yeah, can see that. Okay, so you can wipe down the outside and take these this, uh, these pieces off to clean. You could just throw them in the dishwasher. But as far as the inside of the machine, you need to be cleaning that as well. Um, and basically, all you have to do is take some water with some vinegar, which is already in here. Pour it in whatever pot you use the most. I suggest doing both of them just to... You know, one at a time, of course, but I suggest doing both. Even if you don't use it, because you never know what gets up in there. It could be dust, whatever. So you don't want that in your coffee when you do decide to use the other side. And basically, all you have to do is run it like you would if you were making coffee. So I, it doesn't matter, like the bold or what is it, bold or regular. Um, that doesn't matter. Um, since I just poured it in this one, this is the one that I'm going to be cleaning first. And then you just hit brew, brew now. And then that vinegar and that water will run through the machine and actually clean itself. So if you didn't know, now you know. And then you do the same thing with this side. You put the water, um, you just close it, you hit the single cup, and then you just put the water and vinegar and let it run through its course. Another thing is I think y'all are forgetting to clean the filter it says wash when dirty you see mine's is dirty you're supposed to wash this okay and you're supposed to take care of that okay this will help prolong and the life of your vacuum and it helps with suction as well <laughs>
all right you guys that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and got some tips again if you have any tips of things that we're forgetting to clean and leave them down in the comments below as always i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one Bad, bad, bad when you both combine I don't know why you look so nice Girl, you're not nice, you're rude Want me to feel like I'm new Want me to watch you do Don't get you look so nice, being not nice, you're rude.